Good day, and today I have my good friend Calvin who's joining us. Calvin is a executive life coach, good friend of mine, amazing guy. Calvin has a really good way of phrasing things in a sense that it's different than the way I phrase things. So, Calvin, thank you for joining us. Andre, it's great to be here. <laughs> thank I'm really you. excited to do this. <laughs> Me too. Yeah. Um, if you don't mind, I'm just going to jump right in with you. Let's, excited to be with let's. you guys. Thank you for watching. Um, Andre, I. You know, hearing the, the topics that you've taught, you know, we've done a couple workshops yeah. together and stuff. I'm, I'm fascinated with the things that you teach because one hand, it just makes sense. On another hand, it covers the spectrum from spiritual to scientific, mm. even on the biochemical level. Mm. Um, as we go in, I just, I guess I just wanted to ask this up front, if you can explain it. I think that there could be some viewers out there that are, you know, like strong, capable women. They've either had to be or chosen to be, and it's really served them. And I can see how some of those women at first, when they hear what you have to say, <laughs> you know, they might get a little offended hey, or hey. things like that. Yeah. But then again, you, you do have some women that are strong, capable women that after they've taken the time to hear what you say, yes. really not just agree, but embrace what you say mm -hmm. because it's mm -hmm. empowering to them. Right. So what's the, what do those women know that some of the newer viewers might not know yet so that these newer viewers can Kind of be more open-minded about what you're going to say. Okay. Um, Good question. Awesome. I want people to develop what I call gender intelligence. Hmm. Gender intelligence. If we're going to be in a relationship with people, you know, men and women, you know, the feminist movement is often shows up with men and women are the same, exactly the same. We just raise them differently, so we're, you know, we're only different because we're raised differently, and it's it's a complete lie. You know, it's complete flies in the in the in in the face of nature. Men and women are completely different. So, but when you, you both are attached to your way, this is when the collision happened. So I, I invite men to learn about women, like literally like a, like a foreign culture. Like if you had to, to go in a different country, you would want to, before you got there for business, learn how they do things so you don't collide with them and actually kind of be able to merge in with them and have some clear communications. So if you're if gender intelligent, if you're a man, go and learn, which is what we're doing here, about how, what a women attach to, what they're looking for, you know, how they function, what they want, what they want, what they need, those, those, those things that typically make no sense to, to us because we're males. And, and same with the, the women. The idea of if you're going to be in a relationship with a man, go find out <laughs> what, what occurs for him, what he wants, why he does the thing that he does, because I promise you there's a really good reason why he does the thing that he does. Mm -hmm. That make no sense to a woman, but and that's the point. So go cross the bridge over the other side, and in that you'll get not only understanding and a whole sense of, oh, okay, and you know, women stop taking things personally mm -hmm. when they understand men more. Men are a lot more compassion and instead of walking away faster they kind of go hold on hold on you know they, they they have access to is this what you need mm -hmm. you know and actually have compassion for each other as opposed to making each other wrong that sounds a lot happier yeah well you know and and, and the whole idea you know like when you come bring the men halfway in they understand you know more same with the women you know now we actually have a, a, a reason to partner mm -hmm. you know what I mean like and there's confidence in that you can have confidence that you know, you can work this out now because we understand more. And then within that also then, then this next phase of the work is how do you negotiate your wants and needs together? Because his needs and his wants are completely opposite or different than hers. So all of that has to be negotiated, right, within the realm of the whole relationship. And so how do you get your needs and wants met mm -hmm. without, this is a big one, without manipulation? I teach that. How do you, how do you get into the realm of a relationship that's going to last 20, 30, 40, 50 years, hopefully, mm -hmm. People that do know how to do all this. Yeah. Some awesome. do it naturally. Some of us, the rest of us have to learn. 